Um, very briefly, I'd just like to let everyone know that I'm from the Center for Environment and Sustainability. And um, we've got a very strong interest in using Earth observation and, and, and space-based satellite tools for sustainable development. So that's our, our shtick. Um, this is really just summarizes the sort of tools we use, who we are, um, and we see roles for satellite Earth observation in lots and lots of these areas that, uh, um, and frameworks that we're applying. I'd like to illustrate a few of those just uh, very briefly in this. I would stress that we're, we're definitely a multidisciplinary centre, so we range from social scientists through to uh, natural scientists, economists uh, and engineers. Um, and it's a very rich uh, place to work from that point of view. There are lots of sustainability frameworks and they're all driven by indicators, measures, they need data and models to, to populate them with, with information. And, and that's, that's one of the things that we do. Classic one on the left here, of course, is the sustainable development goals of the UN. But on the right, we have things like government policies, the 25 year uh, environment plan, um, and we work on that as well, using satellite Earth observation data. Um, the reason for sort of highlighting the role of, of this sort of data in sustainable development is, is if we look at the sustainable development goals, we can see that about 30% of them, of the 240 odd indicators, have no data at all. And about 30% of them have what we call irregular data. So it's not really collected by national statistical bodies and so on. And fundamentally, poor or lack of data holds back human progress towards these um, internationally agreed goals, and in fact, in many other domains of sustainability as well. So at Surrey, we, we launched uh, a fairly recently a Space for Sustainability initiative. The, the website link is here. And um, part of the work that led to setting this up was actually some very good PhD studies that we did with the uh, collaborative doctoral training partnership between Surrey and the led from the University of Reading. And I'm just sort of featuring one here, Anna Andres, who's one of these NERC scenario PhD students. Very much like to acknowledge NPL as well, who's a case award partner here. Um, and this is an example of one of the publications that's come out fairly early on, actually, in Anna's work, where she mapped the, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals indicators uh, to what contribution space and satellite Earth observation. Uh, information could make. And you can see the sort of traffic light system. There are lots of these indicators that uh, are sort of green and amber, uh, where there is knowledge, uh, how satellite earth observation can help populate them. There are lots of gray areas. So this is a real area of opportunity. We're not going to populate all of the gray ones, uh, but I would stress actually that some of the indicators we've worked on are actually more in the socioeconomic domain rather than the um, uh, classical sort of land use and, and movement ones. This is one of those um, uh, domains, uh, one of those uh, socioeconomic ones. It's actually to do with overcrowding in, in rural primary schools in Nigeria. And um, from um, looking at about uh, 2000 um, of these schools and their locations across that country, uh, we were able to identify really quite quickly that about 70% of them failed to meet um, Nigeria's own um, requirements for a minimum of 1.2 square meters per pupil. You can imagine the effects this has on, on primary education. Um, so it's a tool that could be very useful for, particularly in that case, for Nigerian government or potentially donors uh, to help alleviate issues like this. Uh, much more closer to home, um, we, we did a fantastic project with the Surrey Hills AOMB and DEFRA as part of the Environmental Land Management Schemes. And here, our role was to use very high resolution satellite imagery um, to attempt to calibrate the quality of habitat um, in relation to its environmental land management. Um, this was done as a secondment, so I think this illustrates two things about doing PhD studies in Surrey. One is flexibility, so we could release Anna, it actually has formed part of our PhD, but um, to work with another organisation, um, in this case Surrey Hills, um, and looking at these three areas of work. Also, it was collaborative, with, and we partnered with EarthEye, uh, one of the space companies on our science park, 
um, a research grant, sorry, um, to, to help provide us with some of this information and, and to work with us on it. So it was a great experience for our student. Um, really what we're interested in is the, the underpinning research and its application in sustainability. So we, we're really looking to be able to work with others to get multiple insights on how EO can be applied in our area of interest. And we're very keen to publish sort of verified research and to develop the, the underpinning. We're fully aware that other organizations will be nimble and effective at perhaps exploiting opportunities in this, and we'd like to work with you uh, to help that happen. Um, collaborative ways of working in CES are classically through master's programs, internships, and dissertation projects. We obviously have um, a range of PhDs, and in particular, this unique CES practitioner doctorate in sustainability. It, um, it very much relates to what Christabel was talking about, because these are doctorates that actually take place and are largely conducted within partner companies. And students are registered with us at CES, but 80% of the search time is on site at the location. The companies and the organizations that support us fund these studentships, and I'm very happy to follow up with anyone on that. And of course, uh, we, we collaborate with people through um, classical research grants, and I'm very happy to acknowledge uh, research grants from Sprint, um, UKRI, uh, and companies in this domain. So I think that's my time done. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Oh, by the way, this is our, a very recent uh, published uh, a few months ago on um, our habitat assessment in the Surrey Hills. Um, you can see it ties directly into environmental land management policy. So thanks, Eddie, and everyone.